welcome to another episode of Master Carp on the Kingfisher YouTube channel. Now today's lead system needs no introduction. The old faithful inline lead system. A system that's been used in South Africa over many many years and extremely popular. But I think a lot of people don't know the versatility of this particular lead system. And we'll quickly cover all those aspects. The first thing people normally ask is what can we use as a substrate to go through this inline lead system and in all fairness you can do anything. We've got the dark matter and obviously it is available in a variety of colors like that and I've got one of them attached to this lead. Then of course the old faithful lead core and here I've got one attached to that and then of course straightforward monofilament lines like this carp line um, really the choice is up to you in how you want to fish it normally when we fish zig rigs we would go straight through on a monofilament and we won't have any lead core now this particular one if you come a little bit closer you will notice two four millimeter beads. Now what I've done is I've actually popped the insert out of this quarter lead and I've just substituted that with the two four millimeter beads and it actually pulls in quite nicely and it gives you just that little bit of resistance, just enough to set the hook. But you can actually take a piece of monofilament like this and you can just pull it in with, with this. Let me just put it next to there. And if you pull it in like that, it actually just sits a little bit tighter. And then you just basically just cut those two tag ends off. The only issue is you've got to put line in every single time that you rebate. But it gives you just that little bit of additional pressure so that it can sink the hook. The other one is where the quarter lead has got that hard insert. And if I push that over, you've got to pull fairly hard for that to pop out. The beauty of that is, it is almost like a semi-fixed bolt rig. So if I pull that in again, you will see I've got to pull fairly hard to get that out. The next one is a little bit more difficult, but once you've got your head around it, it's quite easy. Basically, it is a drop off inline system. So the inline lead will fall off and you will play the fish like this. Let's quickly go through all of them. I've taken a dark matter QC swivel system out of a packet. And I've taken four, uh, two of the four millimeter beads. Then I take my quarter lead, of which I've popped the insert out. And that is literally what I start with. So I start off by taking the two four millimeter beads. And I put them over my stick needle. And then I hook them and pull them through this whole system all the way up to the swivel and then I just take my stick needle again hook it pull that through and there we go the first inline lead system is sorted the next system is to take a pre-spliced piece of lead core and I just loop that onto a quarter QC swivel like that and then I take my stick needle and I push that through the back of the lead I hook it onto the other side of the lead core and I pull that into the lead like that I then take a tail rubber also push it from the sharp end first then hook it onto the oops, 
hook it onto the lead core again. There we go. And I pull it over the back. And there we have a semi-fixed inline lead system sorted. Should I now want to change this lead system to a solid bag lead system, I just remove the tail rubber and I add a solid bag tail rubber and hook it onto the lead core again like this and pull it over like that. There we have a solid bag inline system. Let's put the drop off inline system together. Now for that I need a size 8 quarter swivel and an extra small quick link. And I just grip it with my crimping tool and I literally just hook it on like that. Now I need to put the lead core through and I put it through the same eye of the swivel that I put the quick link on. So I pull it on like that. So we end up with a system looking like that. Now I take my crimping tool and I literally just apply a small amount of pressure so that that swivel is no longer round because I want to push it into the lead like that and fold it over the lead. Now comes the other part. I take a tail rubber and I flatten it and I cut a piece off so that we end up with a piece looking like that. Then I take my stick needle, push it through, push it through the other end of the lead core and hook it on. And now it's a matter of just pushing it over so you have a system looking like that. Attaching the hook link, I take a tapered sleeve and I put it onto the loop of the rig. I then just attach the hook link by just hooking it onto, uh, come on, there we go, hooking it onto the quick link and then pulling that over so I literally just cover that and there we have it, a perfectly presented rig. Yeah.